Hello everybody. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. My mic broke and I wasn't able to obtain one until Friday. And I was kind of busy this weekend so I've gone around to making this video today. And um, I'm going to be teaching about arrays because uh, they're very important when it comes to programming. And um, you will need them in the next few programs when it comes to test in my testing your programming skills videos so uh let's get started so wouldn't it get so annoying if you want i had something um value something of the same value and you had to keep on typing it over and over again so say you had 20 numbers and you had to put number one then you had to put in number two, then you put in number three, number four, number five, and so on and so forth. After a while, it would just get too out of control. Your code would get too messy, and it would just be all messed up, right? So and that's why they invented something called arrays. And arrays will make your life so much easier. And you might not see the purpose of this right now, but you will honestly see the purpose of this later. Well, one fact is that it will take away from writing lots of lines of code. So, what we're going to do is make an array of three elements um, right now. Or, let's make an array of two elements. And, to create an array, the syntax is the variable's type. The variable name so number and a square bracket and how many elements so you're making it of two elements so um imagine you got like a box or something okay and um in each box so since it was since um since we put two we got two boxes okay so imagine a grid we got two boxes on the grid so in one box on that grid it has a value and in the next box it has a different value so say in box one uh the value was 10 and in box two the value was 20. so even though they have the same integer type number each each element of the array has a different value and you might be saying how do I do this? Um, how, how does it work? So to um, to access an element of an array, this is the syntax. You put number, square bracket, and the element of the array which you wish to access. Now the thing about variables, we have two elements of the array. So you would think we would have number one, and we would have number two well this isn't so with arrays in c++ and other programming languages um you when you make a cr array it starts at zero okay so and in this case since it's two you'd have a zero and one so those are two the two elements so say i had a array with 20 elements instead of going from 1 to 20 it goes from 0 to 19 so there's still oh sorry if you heard that sound that's my facebook whatever so even though it starts off at 0 there's still 20 elements if you start counting at 0 and count all the way to 19 it's still there's still 20 elements it just starts off at 0 don't know why they do that but that's just the way it is so since my my arrays number st um, has two elements it has element 0 and element 1 okay so basically these elements of an array all have different values just like they're different variable types right so say it's is equal to 10 so remember how I had my box one equal to ten and box two equal to twenty. So I'm gonna put is equal to twenty. 
So it treats us as different variable types, just like we were gonna put, just like if we put number one and number two, and we set number one to equal to ten and number two equal to twenty. It's exact same thing. It's just that they're all in one variable type name, right? So it doesn't take up space. And there's other ways to go about using arrays. They're just not this way. I'm just showing you the basics of learning arrays. So in this, we got our we got our first element and our second element. And the first element has a value of 10, and the second element has a value of 20. And I know you learned a new word, element of arrays. So that's a new word you should have in your programming vocabulary. And the thing about arrays is that it can seem confusing, but that's only if you overthink it. You just have to think of arrays as their individual variable types compacted into one variable name. So now that we got number one and we got we got our first number and our second number, let's put them to the screen just so you can see what they do. And and L and C O number one and oh and as you can see 10 and 20 so they each hold different values now you can do anything with them just like you would do a regular variable so you can multiply them so or add them so I'll add them together so number one and L so what's 10 plus 20? 30. So you see, as you see, 30 right there. So they're just like variable types, but they compact them into one variable name. And this can be useful if um to um that it doesn't take up too much space when you're typing and it doesn't take up time and stuff. And there's other uses um for sorry. There's other uses for arrays, um, and I'll show you that in later videos. So hope this helped, and thanks for watching, and bye.